So friends, what's happening with PDI now is, okay, so right now the price is like 2.5 cents, okay, 2.5 cents. There is a critical date, December the 6th, for the maker proposal to be done. So if if it, if it Richard, who owns like 40,000 maker tokens or whatever, if he votes yes, or whoever it is, friends, I don't know, if he votes yes, okay, that will increase the odds PDI has gone to a dollar for the rest of the market to know, okay? So there's a couple of steps. So he's got to vote yes. If he approves it, it will allow him to move the tokens in. We get it, okay? So that's, maybe that is like, saying, oh, PDI should be $0.05, cents, $0.10 cents by that point, okay? so the, But then we have to wait infinite amount of time, which we don't know. The next step is for him to actually start moving tokens in. Maybe he only moves like a tiny bit of hex in, right? Maybe he does that. And then PDI price will like maybe reprice higher again, okay? Maybe that's what it does. Maybe it goes to $0.05 cents on approval. I'm just guessing, friends. And then it just maybe maybe he moves it in later on. See, but here's the thing. The time delay, you don't know. It could be a week. It could be a day. It could be like two, three months, right? And it's, everyone's just waiting forever. Like it could just approve it and then do nothing. So if it approves it, yeah, you move up to $0.05 cents or whatever. But then like that could be like a, that could be like a, you know, a couple of weeks shakeout months. Who knows? And then eventually though, maybe he moves like all of the hex in. And everyone's like, whoa, a big move has happened. He moved like, you know, billions of dollars of hex of the origin address in. And then they know, oh my gosh, it's starting to price these things in. And maybe he does it over a week or something. He moves like part and part and part and part and part. And it takes a while. And then I guess as he's doing it, everybody's like catch, catch a caught wind of it. Like, oh crap, he's actually going to beg it. And then like, it still won't be a dollar though. It still won't be a dollar. Why? Because pe people need, then they have to wait after the, all the origin address stuff is in, all the tokens are in, then they have to see the farm. Okay? Obviously, there's friends. I'm not 100% sure on the, the timing of all of these, but yeah, then they see the farm. So you see how we just like, there's like, the, the believers get in at the very, very start, and then people only need like, you know, a couple of pieces of info, they get in. And then even more, they get in, and then you have nine nine capital. He's like, he gets in, you know what I mean? And then uh, eventually you move to people buying at like ten to twenty cents. Then they're in because they, they need more info. Because because what what's going to happen if they see the origin address moving the coins in, they'll know at that point. And then the, maybe maybe Peter is literally thirty cents at that point. Maybe it's literally thirty cents. Then it's like okay, now it's literally a question of. How long are you willing to wait for Richard to put the farms up? How long are you willing to wait? Because the Oracle, he starts moving it in. The Oracle says it's a dollar. But like, okay, but uh, where can you go and sell your your dollar for? You know what I mean? So like if you go through the steps, I've just had a brain fry. But that's pretty much it, friends. They uh, It pre prices it in over time, you know? Then he might he might use the OA SAC funds to do something. Sorry, the, the, the Pulse Chain SAC funds. But do you see how there's like each step We'll move it closer to a dollar. And as ugh, it's each step happens, there'll be more and more cope. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. Friends, we might see if the origin address just starts moving the coins in. Yeah, we, we, it'd just be like a huge fat FOMO. Okay, it's literally a huge fat FOMO because it's literally, it's the equivalent of the origin address buying it. Because the origin address is, is allocating capital somewhere. It's you, Richard speaking on chain saying, Peter is a dollar. That's what effectively what happens, that Maker Oracle says that. So I hope you understand what's happening and look, you, uh, I've got many questions, friends. I've already postulated. What if Richard rejects the proposal? He could do that, by the way. He could do that. Then you see later, 80% wipeout. Everyone's in cope mode again. However, we're running out of time in the bull market, you know? Because um, he, he's got to do this. He's got to collateralize everything. And he's got to, the SAC funds are still there. He's got to do stuff. Um, and then the farming has to begin. The, the world's biggest airdrop stuff has to begin after that point. That's not the end of the game. That's just the start of the game. That's why, friends, we're like, we're, it's a unicorn, man. It's, it's the start of the game. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So I hope you understand this as well coming out here. That's why, um, and uh, yeah, also, as I've, I've said this, friends, people have, a couple of PDI people, it's okay, man, I get it. People have blocked me for just saying that already, okay? Because effectively what they're saying is, no, it should be a dollar right now because you just move the tokens in and everything's, then we just have an infinite money printer. Um, we'll see, bro. There is no infinite money printer, friends. You need them. Like, this is the the correct price for the market. This is what the the market feels. Hey, Peter, you're about 2.5 cents. If we start to see more moves from the on-chain action from Richard speaking, price goes up.
Okay, that's Richard's promotion live stream now. Okay, Richard moving on chain is, that's the new live stream, him talking. That the thing's gonna go to a dollar, okay? Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, Richard kept saying Hex was designed to do 10,000x. Yeah, him moving his stuff on chain, he's saying Pete is designed to go to a dollar. All right, he just, he doesn't, he just, it's a new form of communication now. That's all a lot of the Hex Maxis have missed it. But I want you to understand that's what's going on. So that's why it's so captivating because also it's a spear of the altcoins and the narrative and everything in Pulse Chain until eventually this thing runs out. Now, I'm excited. If there's a FUD event, like there's an 80% drop, let's say he rejects it, I don't know. I, I just, I'm, I'm not exiting. It, we're all going to consider it psyops, but people are going to, people are definitely going to jeet if that happens. I'm just preparing you, man. These are different scenarios, okay? So, um, friends, as you move into the bull market, people who believe they have 100% certainty and something's foolproof, if you even say anything that reminds them that, no, not everything's foolproof, Everything has risk. Even if you just say that, you're considered like a doomsday fudder, the enemy and stuff like that, all right? So, but you want that. You want it to get to that. That means it's like euphoria is there and the prices are going really high. Let's get to a dollar, friends. Love you all. Catch you soon.